braking exercise where we're going to use front and rear brakes. It's also Motorman's tip of the week. Get a shot of the class. I got you. you. Take a nice pan around there. You're on YouTube. Yes, this is a braking exercise, front and rear brakes. We're going to get up to 20 miles per hour. When we get to that first gate, we're going to hit front and rear brakes hard. We will then release the front brake and make the swerve that you were making all morning in the offset cone wheel. So you got time from the, where it starts till you get there to see that you're up to 20 miles an hour. Front and rear brakes, release the front brake. Remember, you can't brake and swerve at the same time. So release the front brake and then make your swerve. I'll demonstrate it expertly if I may say so myself. <laughs> situations you're going to have to brake hard and then swerve around an obstacle so that's why i say don't come to a complete stop front and rear brakes 80 percent of your stopping force is in the front practice braking see what it does questions any questions practice braking it will save your life if you normally go 80 miles an hour on the highway you better be able to stop quickly from 80 miles per hour the only way to practice that is a little bit at a time start at 20 up to 30, 40, 50, etc., till you're confident at stopping whatever your maximum speed is that you may be willing to go out on the road. It's not the most fun thing to practice, but it pays dividends. Let's go. Move along. Nothing to see here. Show's over. Go about your business. The first thing they taught us to say in the academy. Anticipated, in other words, started breaking a little too early. Now it's simply a matter of head and eyes. Let's see how she does. Breaking. Release. Swerve. Very good. 